All right, 42 days. Today is day 42, 42 consecutive days of walking at least one mile a day. Put the camera on and we'll get going. All right, Ranger wants some food. You hungry, buddy? You are? You want some food? <laughs> All right, buddy, here you go. Okay. Can I get the timer going? started talk about what's going on all right all right put in your guesses how far I'll go how long it'll take I'm gonna do at least 1.15 miles today so put in your guesses how long it'll take yesterday I think I did uh, a little over one and a half miles. It was really beautiful yesterday. Today, a little bit cooler. Not quite as, not near as sunny. And there's a breeze. I had to wear a jacket today, but yesterday was absolutely gorgeous. Today, it's okay. It's not really cold, but definitely not as nice as it was yesterday. A 63 Cadillac we see as a neighbor owns it. I think. Is that it? Is that a different one? No, that's the same one, I guess. Gotta be. I don't see that many cars like that. I don't know why it looks different today. The 63. All right, let's see what we see today. With the over under of dogs at, uh, I don't know, what I say, three and a half. Yesterday, I think we saw at least six or seven, maybe, maybe six. Saw the two black labs at one time, and then three people had to. One uh, person had three dogs in their yard. So there was five all right there. We saw at least one more. Yesterday, we saw those dogs and then we saw that uh, group of kids that were in black robes. Didn't know what was going on with that. I thought they were like witches or something. I didn't know, cult. It turned out to be, they were just uh, a group of young girls I think they were part of a martial arts club or something, but yesterday was really warm and they had on these big velour black robes and I couldn't see them. They were about a block away and I had to catch up to see what they what they were and I walked through them and they would seem to be some type of martial arts group. I think, I'm still not exactly sure. Here's a little great key. Field a lot lately. He never lets me pet him. Meow. There he goes. A lot of traffic down here. Maybe I can get across before the light changes. Walk a little bit different route than I did yesterday. Let's see, where are we gonna go? We're gonna go down here. Might as well walk down this street. I haven't walked down this street in a bit. But yeah, if you wanna see that video yesterday, 
those kids in the black robes and stuff. That was yesterday. You check that out. That was something. I didn't know what it was. And then the day before, uh, so I went and saw the uh, Ferraris and Lamborghinis and Maseratis. That garage, they have different, they work on them and they have uh, different ones uh, out every couple of weeks. They say they get them shipped in from all over the world. People, I don't know, said they worked on some of Jay Leno's cars. And that was a couple of weeks, that was uh, two days ago. So if you want to see that video, right, we'll see what we see today. Oh, we see something interesting. If you're playing along, write down uh, how many days in a row you walked. If you did just done five or 10, 15 days. How many miles you're walking every day if you're just doing a half a mile a day or a, a mile a day this is day 42 for me seven seven weeks six seven weeks seven weeks in a row now it's a bright blue mustang i see these magic marker call colors all the time now super popular this is uh i don't know what year mustang this is let me know it looks like very recent Definitely, probably within the last, I don't know, two to three, three to four years. At the car shop, we saw that about the same color, bright blue Porsche. Magic marker colors are in. Then, three or four days ago, we saw them. The, magic marker color uh, green BMW I'd never seen that before that was I'm not sure I'd seen a bright blue Porsche either it's always uh, seemed to be the colors color of the year this year the bright blue bright magic marker colors they used to be in uh, NASCAR and uh, just racing in general Formula One cars that may still be I don't know I think somebody drives one now but uh, green cars were unlucky so no one would drive a green car for many many years you never saw a race car that was green but I think within the last 10 years somebody's driven drives a, a green race car but I don't know who it is not that, that much up on uh, racing NASCAR and Formula One anymore Never really followed Formula One too much. I used to follow the Indy cars some when we lived in Indianapolis. AJ Foyt and Mario Andretti. And, but I hadn't, I hadn't really watched any of them. But I, I seemed like I said somebody was driving a green NASCAR car. I don't know who it is. Comment below if you know. Yeah, but they used to be deemed as bad luck. We still don't see very many green cars out on the street nowadays. I don't know if that's translated into people actually think that green cars are bad luck. But you rarely see a green car. Here's another Mustang. Mustangs are pretty popular silver one that car's what at least 15 years old I guess 10 15 I don't know we saw the bullet Mustangs on that uh, walk about a week ago that whole discussion about Paul Newman and the movie bullet and there's another Mustang a lot of Mustangs three already gosh almost walked a half a mile this is a GT. Obviously a later model as well. I don't know what year. I don't know what year any of these are. I assume they're all within the last... It's a 5.0. I don't know much about the years. If 
5.0 Mustang Ice Ice Baby. Got a problem, I'll solve it. Let's see what's going on down here. Maybe with a nice American flag. If you just started watching the channel, you want to join in, write down your, start walking a mile a day or whatever you want, write down your goal in the comments if you want to do a, a mile a day or half a mile a day or a mile every other day. They say people with, look at this condo, townhome, that's a unique modern structure architecture huh. if you want to play along write down your goal in the bottom and comment section and come back every Come back every day and update with your progress for the day. Keep checking back. Give somebody else a thumbs up. Motivate them. Keeps me motivated to keep going. I try to do 60 days. I did 30 days. That went really well. So doing another 30 days. So get up to at least 60 days and see how that goes. I've already done. Uh, 40 this is day 42 new record they have a nice yard it's a fake grass but it sure looks nice maybe I'll get some fake grass one day I can't get any grass to basically grow because uh, the trees are so big And the trees keep the sun from getting to the yard and no grass will grow. A bunch of kids out here playing, who we'll walk by this, they're playing baseball or t-ball or, I don't know, softball, I don't know what it is. And they're just they're little kids, really little kids. <laughs> they're singing the national anthem or something. <laughs> Boys and girls. I think they're saying the Pledge of Allegiance. That's nice. I guess they're just getting started. They got boys out there, girls, the Padres, and I guess the Dodgers. Cubs. Some red socks. T ball. I got a pitcher, but it's T ball, I think. Sure, it looks like they got a tee there, but then they got a pitcher out there, but I know they're too young to pitch. Out there. You see that coach right there? You're out there behind row. Stand behind row. <laughs> yeah, I don't know. They got a batter up. Get a batter up here. 
Hey, bada 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 bada. Arlington, see if we can see the you first, back up row. See if we can see the first batter here. And we'll walk up here until they get a batter up. <laughs> Next hit this. Yeah, a little. It's a time for spring baseball. Still haven't seen a batter up yet. All right, let's see if we can see one person hit, and then we'll move along. Dad, the coach is gonna pitch or what? Okay, Brian, take off your pads and then switch them for your helmet. Trying to figure out how to get a helmet on or something. I don't know how it is here. I think everybody got one. Still, here we go with a batter. All right. I got a T. No, no T. The dad's coach is going to pitch, I guess. Here we go. They're just learning. All right, here we go. Oh boy. Here we go. Oh, good try. There we go. Go, 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 go. Run, 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 run. Run, run, run. Run, 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 run. All right. We made it to first. Got a base hit. Another Mustang. This one's much older. 40th anniversary. So it came out in 65, so this has got to be an 05. So that car's 20 years old. Alright, I got another base hit. I don't know what this car is, a Rivian. Never heard of it. I don't know if that's the model. Let's see what it says at the front. I don't know. Maybe that's the, the car manufacturer. A Rivian. Look at that thing. I don't know what that is. I never seen a never seen or heard of a Rivian. Knock around it. Rivian. Yeah, comment below if you know what a Rivian is. I guess this is a Rivian. R one T. Rivian. I don't think it's electric. The electric cars usually say, well, it says clean air vehicle, maybe it is electric. Looks like an electric car from the front. I don't know, I've never heard of a Rivian before. Yeah, let's go. Keep it moving. Let's see how many more Mustangs we see. You already seen, what, four? Four Mustangs? Popular. One day we counted Teslas, one day we counted Broncos. Today it must be Mustangs. Pretty house with a light blue beachy trim. I walked down this by all the way by this park before. 0.75. I guess we better turn around up here at Slauson. Wow, look at this tree. 
Man, this is a nice tree. Look how big it is. It's got to be 50, 75 years old. Good climbing tree. I don't know how well you can see it. I'll go up to the corner and look back at it. Branches are really horizontal and reach way far out. I'll turn back around and take a look at it. Wow, that's nice. Well rounded. Gotta be what, 50, 75 years old? I don't know what kind of tree that is. Always something on these trips. Just a mile or two walk, you always see something interesting. Turn around and head back. See what we see on the way back. Yeah, one day, I think we counted these BW bugs. Uh, seem to be pretty popular too. Seen a lot of them. Old ones, new ones. It's a bright yellow one. Sport. It's a Harley Davidson motorcycle. Little <laughs> dog. Uh, poodle. Poodles, not the greatest personalities. It's a Harley. Maybe the first Harley we've seen. I don't know too much about motorcycles. 1800. I know a lot of people that wear, uh, that ride motorcycles that wear these GoPro cameras like I have on in case they uh, get in an accident or something. It's like just about everybody that rides a motorcycle seems to have a wreck. The dog, the big dog. So uh, I guess uh, just a lot of people, motorcycle riders started wearing these GoPros. Record their accident, I guess. Uh, hi, do you recognize this dog? Oh. I just found this dog right here. Oh no, really? He almost got run over by a car. He almost got hit by a car? Yeah, he was about to run into the street when a car was there. Oh my goodness, no tag? And everything. I just took a picture. No tag or nothing, huh? Well, Kind of growling and I'm oh. baby, so I didn't want to get hurt, but oh, oh, there he puts his ears down. Hey, buddy, I see a harness. All right, dog's life faked. <laughs> good little guy. Hope the owner takes good care of him. A French bulldog, he's friendly. Uh, I don't know, probably if I can edit this video, maybe I can cut part of that out, but try not to edit any of these videos. This takes too long. Never know what's going to happen on these walks. Always something. Heading back home now. Always something to see on these walks. Little French bulldog. Good thing we didn't have to turn him into animal control. That lady had a good idea to knock on a door it's probably neighbors she said she found him right in there so it's kind of weird though he had a leash on and it seemed like nobody was looking for him
Alright. Well, we got way laid way off our schedule. But to save a dog, it's alright. Uh oh, look out! You don't see too many French Bulldogs that color. So I was kind of a, sure they paid quite a bit of money for him. Friendly guy. The owner had like purple hair or something. He didn't seem too enthused about getting his dog back. Maybe he's just, a, like I say, introverted guy. Odd situation. Moving on. Now, let's see if we see any more Mustangs. We saw like three or four already. Quiet. It seems warmer now. I had a jacket on. Well, so that's over under dogs. Over. I don't know how many. It's, I think I said it at three and a half. I think we're definitely going to be over. Definitely warmer now that I was going to take my jacket off when I started. Here's another dog. And this uh, GoPro Mini 11. I'm wearing it on my cap. It's, it's kind of heavy. <clears throat> I don't know how anybody would run with this on their head. Not horribly heavy. I keep thinking I'll get a chest chest strap and put it on my chest, but then when I turn my head, you're not going to be able to with it on your head, wherever you look, you can you see, but put a chest strap on, it's on your chest. You have to turn your whole body for the camera to see, so it's kind of nice to have it on your head, but just a little heavy. If I'd have gotten the full size, it would even been heavier. Not horrible, but I just think maybe in the summertime, it's going to be a lot hotter because I wear a a cap and then I put the strap on top of my head. All right, nice warm today. Now on the way back, I don't even need a jacket. It's getting kind of hot. I always like to know right down in the comments if you've had to walk in the rain or the snow or cold weather to keep your streak alive it was 42 days in a row and I think I walked in the rain three days and one day the umbrella blew inside out like eight times it was really windy but it wasn't a hard rain but it was a steady rain but it was warm it wasn't that cold so it wasn't horrific you just say it may rain this upcoming Wednesday or two or three days, so we'll see. But each month will be a little bit warmer.
think I walked up this street when it rained. I was just trying to get through the rain. Any more, uh, a big dog type of, type of husky. I don't know, we seem like six, seven dogs. A lot of dogs. Let's see any more Mustangs on the way up through here, just green and white and black. I mean, uh, black and gray and white cars, usual colors. I don't see any more Mustangs either. Same old, same old. Comment below if you watch a video uh, with the cars, the exotic cars, if you want me to go there more often. You now I probably go there once every three or four weeks. But like he said, he always got, he said he always has new cars out there every week or two. So be interesting maybe to go more often. I need to go back down to the beach. I think I've only been down there one time. In six weeks, I was thinking about going today, but just didn't go. Man, this next upcoming week, I head back down there. Go to Manhattan Beach. I went to Hermosa last time. A lot of people were down there. It was really warm that day. Yeah, I might have walked up this street. Was it yesterday? I don't know. I saw the three dogs. I think that was over there. I don't remember. The uh, French Bulldog kind of got me off track. Couldn't remember which way I come back. cars down here. My sister had a French Bulldog. They're really friendly, strong personalities. They seem to have a lot of a very active. But I, like I said, I don't really see them that color. That was kind of a brownish black so I don't know how much they go for write down in the comments if you know I'm thinking around a thousand dollars or something somebody put a leash on it and maybe just got out of the yard maybe just had him in the yard and had the leash on him and somehow he snuck out dogs have a lot of gumption Maybe he had gone in the house or just left him in the yard to play and he didn't seem like he had He knew the dog was out Over he was overly excited that he got the dog back I don't know. All right making the turn for home I don't think there's gonna be any Mustangs on this street it sounded like four or five right off the bat, and that was it that I noticed. If you saw more in the camera, let me know. I'm gonna be close to over a mile and a quarter, three quarters today. Like a record for one video. Usually, it's 
like I'm, we did a mile and a half yesterday and really intend to do a mile and three quarters today but you watch those kids play t-ball and then we got waylaid with the Frenchy French Bulldog and yesterday we saw the witches which weren't really witches no way something on these walls you never know what you're gonna see yeah it's gonna be over a mile and three quarters today not not real sunny but pretty warm probably could have gotten by with shorts but it seemed like it was going to be colder when I stepped out all right there goes another little dog oh, that's a neighbor's dog I know that dog all right gonna be at you guessed 1.81 in 52 minutes and 25 seconds you are the winner normally the time would be much less but we watch the kids play uh, t-ball for a minute and then the french bulldog so that probably doubled the time what are you doing up there ranger ranger's up on the covered barbecue why are you doing up there buddy yeah is that your space Huh? You having problems? You like being up high, huh? Did you eat all your lunch? Was it good? <laughs> you like that spot, huh? It's a good boy, huh? All right. That's it for the day, so check out some of the other videos if you want to see the cars or the yesterday's video of... Look out, buddy! <laughs> the uh, girls in the black robes, that was yesterday. It's something every day. Subscribe if you like the channel. Write down how many miles you're walking. Check out some of the other videos. That's it. What are you doing, Ranger? Be back tomorrow. New video every day. Bye.